What's up, you certified beauties? Nick here from Nick's Taxes. And today, Sunday, August 15th, we have some breaking news when it comes to Canadian politics. Uh, Justin Trudeau has officially announced that there will be an election this fall. So in this video, we're gonna break down uh, the news that was just released a few hours ago and let you know the important information that you need to know as of right now. So before we jump into it, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and please also like the video. It just gets, that, gets the video out to more people that would be interested in this sort of content. But we've been talking about it for a little bit on this channel about the potential of an election coming this fall. And we were saying that it was going to be more likely than not that there would be an election. And we were kind of looking at how that would affect uh, the Canada recovery benefits. Obviously nothing uh, on that front for now. Today's video, we're just going to look at the details. And what we know is that the uh, government has officially confirmed that um, there will be an election this fall. Uh, Justin Trudeau has been in a, in a minority government since October of 2019. Uh, the election day, so mark this on your calendar, is going to be September 20th. So people uh, will only have about five weeks to make a decision about who they want to vote for. And obviously, uh, campaigns are only going to be a tight five weeks in length. So Justin Trudeau spoke today in Ottawa after he did break the news. He said, and I quote, we believe a government's most important responsibility is to keep Canadians safe and thriving. We are experiencing an historic moment and you have something to say about it. You have the right to choose the future of our country, whether it's to pursue our vaccination efforts or to continue our support program. So there's the Canada recovery benefits coming in. Justin Trudeau also highlighted the party's promise to create a national child care plan, something else we've talked about on the channel, and said Canadians need to choose how they want to finish the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. One of Justin Trudeau's main competitors is the Conservative Party, and their leader Aaron O'Toole spoke shortly after Trudeau, and he quickly criticized the decision to send Canadians out to the polls in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic. He faced repeated questions about whether um, he, his views on restrictions or unvaccinated people have changed, um, but he did not answer them despite uh, all the questions that he received. He also did not answer whether or not his candidates in the Conservative Party will need to be vaccinated, whereas NDPs uh, are requiring their people to be vaccinated and Liberals are saying that uh, they are encouraging their candidates to follow the uh, community government guidelines regards to our health. Aaron O'Toole also went on to say that we need to educate and not mandate. He says, I will always respect people's decisions. And so um, I think they're, the Conservative Party is leading more towards choice when it comes to vaccinations and mandates. Another uh, leader was from the Bloc Quebecois. They came in and said, uh, if the threat is so significant that we need to impose mandatory vaccinations, it is not too dangerous to go ahead and go to the polls. So he thinks that there's a disconnect uh, between the two. He doesn't think that it's safe right now or a good idea right now either uh, to go to the polls. The other uh, horse in this race is the NDP leader, Jagmeet Singh. He called this election selfish and said the government should be working on uh, deploying all possible resources to help those um, that are in need. And he also talked about the situation going on in Afghanistan. So back in 2015, Justin Trudeau uh, won a majority government, but that was then reduced to a minority government in 2019. And polls have suggested he might be nearing a majority government again for this upcoming fall campaign. And I believe that is why uh, he is going ahead with this election. He wants to get a majority campaign to finish off uh, everything that he wants to do regarding this COVID recovery. Me, personally, I think this is a silly decision as well. From what we've seen so far, uh, Trudeau has kind of dropped the ball, in my opinion, in uh, getting our response to COVID out there as quickly as possible. Uh, also, with uh, the incentives and the programs that he's put in place, most people are behind him. While they are quick to criticize the programs, 
uh, they're not really against it because people need these supports. So they don't, no one's really going to uh, vote against those supports in these unprecedented times. He especially has the support of the NDPs uh, in this facet of the uh, COVID-19 responses. So calling for a majority right now, I don't think is a good idea. It's also going to be the most expensive uh, campaign we might ever see. That is obviously due to the safety measures that Election Canada is trying to implement to keep everyone safe when they go to the polls. For example, Elections Canada, because they knew an election was coming, have bought over 18 million masks, over 500,000 bottles of sanitizer, 400,000 face shields, 126,000 plexiglass shields, 40,000 packets of disinfectant wipes, They've also bought over 16 million pencils, which means that everyone's going to use one pencil when they go in to make their, um, their ballot. So there's just a lot of resources being deployed for this election. It just seems uh, over the top, in my opinion, and I don't think this is what we need right now. They're also gonna have to figure out different ways uh, to do this and where these polls are going to happen. In Manitoba, they've already ruled out that schools will be an option to go uh, and cast your vote. So we'll see where they decide to go uh, in replace of schools. They're also anticipating a lot more mail-in ballots. So you have the ability to obviously mail in your ballot instead of going to the poll. Uh, but with the increase in that, we might see a delayed uh, result uh, from the election. So we might not know who wins the election or the results of the election that night of September 20th. We might need to have a delay as provinces and territories count up all the votes from the mail-in ballots. So we'll see what comes out uh, in these next five weeks. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated regarding all things uh, with the election and what the platforms of some of these candidates have. Obviously being a tax guy, I'll especially look at the tax policies and what I think. Uh, but let me know, is this a good time for an election, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to read them and answer and interact with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you got value, give this a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy taxing.